But again, because I played them right next to each other, you know, usually what happens is, um, I think most people in general, and there, there are exceptions, but I think mostly the general rule is whichever one you play first, you like best. So if you played Fallout New Vegas first, and then went to Fallout 3, you'd be like, oh my god, New Vegas is so much better. If you paid uh, 3 first, and then, you know, a year or two later, you go to um, the other one, you'd like the first one better. And I think that's because in the beginning, you're learning the me mechanics, and everything's kind of new and fresh. And, and then when you get, you know, a year goes by and the new one comes out, you already know, like, you know, how to do, like, a lot of the stuff. So then, um, so then it feels more like a DLC or something. Um, and especially in this game, one thing I did find is that I don't feel that the New Vegas uh, engine... This doesn't feel like a, a newer game. This feels like it came out at the exact same time. Like, the graphics look almost exactly the same. Everything seems mostly the same to me. So, um, I'll be interested to see when, um, when Fallout 4 comes out, whether it's just, like, unbelievably different. Um, but if you know what I mean, this really looks the same, and... Uh, so, um, it really all feels the same to me. Uh, great, we made it. Okay, now let's drop it. I just like putting things together. Uh, was there anything else over here? I came, I came in from over here. So do you have a preference as to uh, which one you like better? And does anyone have a preference to what they like? I've also heard, dude, I thought uh, I bought Fallout 3 and I didn't even know what it was. I had no internet at the time, never even heard of it, just Bethesda. I walked out in the wasteland. Okay, so I had the same, th because I played um, Skyrim. You know, I played that a couple of years ago. It had been out for like a year, and everyone said that it was good, but it was like 50 bucks, and I was like, I don't know. Because uh, I wasn't really into gaming at the time, and I was like, 50 bucks for a game? I don't know. Um, and exactly, I couldn't believe that you could just walk around and walk up the mountain and find like, just like a, uh, you know, like a hidden cave, and you go in there, and there's monsters in there. And yeah, I totally was like, holy shit, I can't believe that. What? Oh, this is to exit. Um... So, yeah, same kind of a thing. And what's funny is that I play, I actually did play Fallout 3 like a year earlier. And I got right to where you open the vault. And my game crashed. And I lost all progress. And to that point, it had been a very linear game. Right? Where you had to do this and that. And I was like, you know what? Fuck this game. I'm not going to play it. So I didn't play it. And I was playing Dark Souls. And someone was like, and I... I told that story and someone was like oh my god dude right when you get out of the vault that's when the thing opens up and i was like oh all right i guess i better play it then so all right so i guess we went through a cave and came out on the other side somewhere so yeah it's really cool how the games are like that now um you know i don't think these sacks have a whole heck of a lot of good stuff in them so can we see where we are now so wait i think did we go in here and we came out here Yeah, half mount. Okay, so we went in here and we came out. Oh, that's the other half, I suppose. So is this is this going towards our main goal or? Yeah, I guess it is. So maybe we just have to go along here. All right, not so bad. Oh, uh, can I go up there? Um, shit's gonna happen up here, I'm sure of it. Um, so this is the second DLC, and I'm really liking this DLC because it does feel like you're exploring, like the, you know, you're like in... I don't know, Montana or something, you know, some national park, and you're just walking along, and 
Um, it just seems more kind of... Uh, but it also seems a little more stressful for me, because you don't know now when, when things are going to jump out at you. Okay, uh, hold on here. No, I think I want to go back here. What direction is that? Over there? Oh, shoot. Caution. Wait, am I stuck here? Great. What was that? Something just... Oh. Okay, something's around. Oh, you. Hey, you. Let me take it all comfortable. No, no, no. Sleep. Alright, so now I'm lost. I don't even know how to get back to that cave again. Did I come over this way? I don't know. I walked up the thing here. What an idiot. How am I lost in, in like a... So wait. I came in here. I can go up there. I came out here. Now, I, I swear to God, I'm lost in this little tiny space here. And then this... Was this the half mouse cave? Or is this something else? No. What the fuck? Alright, let's try. Second, second attempt at getting out of this uh, large open space. Cool. Yep. Ah, this hidden path that's in the open here. Somebody's going to attack me. Usually when you go on bridges, these guys... Greek! I'm at 100% sneak now, so I feel extra sneaky. Or 100 points in sneak. So how do I get down? Wait. Well, hold on. Okay, there's a bridge here to here. What idiot built that? There is no purpose for that. That is wasteful construction. No wonder these. Okay, so forget that. But maybe we can go down. It's eerily quiet. So we got, uh, what's today? Thursday, right? Um, anyone got any plans for the weekend? Anything fun going on? Well, I can jump down here, but here's the problem. This, this construction makes no sense, because... What the fuck? Why would you have, like, oh, build all this stuff, and then you have to jump down, and it's, like, impossible to get back up again? I mean, I can do it, but 
And then if I go over here, am I stuck over there? I guess I can probably climb up that, right? Uh, oh yeah, stock it up for the month. <laughs> with a hot plate and some food. When I was in college, we ate ramen noodles. They were 10 cents a pack. And we'd go with like, we'd get like $4 worth and eat those for like a, like a week or two. It was actually gross. We got to the point where we were just eating them dry, like crackers. Like you pull it out and it's all that pressed thing. And but, um... Ice made it back! All right. From the, uh, the terrible meeting? Or where were you? All right. Um, I don't... This is... I think their whole thing is misdirection here. That's how, um... Ramen is for... No, I ate it for soup! But after, like, a, a month of that, it was like, ugh, is there anything else we can do? Okay. This place... Is very stinky. Can I go through here? Okay. See, this is how. Is that another cave too? Lots of caves here, huh? Um. Oh, you mean the pack of salt? Yeah, pure salt. <laughs> yeah, it is totally. Um, dude, one time I was, I forget, I, I'm sure I was drunk or whatever, but, uh, um, I tried a bullion cube, you know, those are like the little bullion cubes, um, <laughs> nice, young stick man, together, um, I ate, I tried eating one of those once, and holy shit, I mean, that is literally just like eating a, a cube of sugar, I just was like, <laughs> I don't know why I thought it would be good, um, but I also, when I was little, uh, I don't know, do you guys know Kool-Aid? I mean, I know you know Kool-Aid, but um, it used to be a big thing where you'd buy the pack of it, you know, for like 29 cents. And it would be that you'd put it in with like a cup or two of sugar. It was the most absurd thing. So essentially this was just like dried coloring and you'd pour it in and then you'd put all the sugar in and mix it up. But then of course, when I was little, I thought that the little pack was what made it delicious. And I tried that one time and almost died. Uh, another time I found my mom's secret stash of cooking chocolate and was like, fuck yeah, took a big bite of that, and uh, that was not good. I have a terrible um, record, I think, of uh, eating things that are inappropriate. Hey, Pooch. This thing is so good, this weapon now, all of a sudden. I think that perk helps a lot. I got some laser weapon perk. Uh, if you add some soy, fresh chop. So I actually, oh, oh, baby. Um, oh, there's another one over there too. Um, we were over to someone's house not too long ago, and they actually made a salad and put the broken ramen noodles. Um, on the salad, it was all, it was kind of like an Asian salad thing, and it was really good. Like, I couldn't believe how, now the ramen didn't make it good, but it was, it was, it was cool. I mean, it was like a little, you know how, you know, you get the Asian crunchy fried noodle things. It was kind of like that, um, but it worked well with it. But, uh, yeah, it was about 2% of the whole salad, like, that made it, what made it yummy. So, it's not, not just putting dried ramen on stuff will make things better. Um, thing, put it in my mouth. Yeah, I know. I'm like, I wonder what that tastes like. Um, uh, okay, so let's see what's happening here, because I was chatting a little and I wasn't paying attention. Oh, this is not... Okay, I guess we're, we're doing okay. Yeah, with crunch on them. It was really good. And now it had like a kind of a a sweet soy kind of a Asian dressing on it. That's really what made it delicious, but, um, but it was really good. What's in here? Oh, this actually is a place. I thought, 